If you've been around for a while, then you know that Chantal has a shiny new habit, smoking shisha. This is something that Salah got her started on, and everybody loves to mention that one session of shisha is equivalent to smoking a hundred cigarettes. In this video, we'll take a deeper dive and learn for ourselves the truth about shisha smoking. Let's see how she got started. Um, I, yeah, so do you want to try the shisha? Um, this yeah. is, yeah. I thought I would show you guys, I don't know. Um, it's lemon mint flavor. Yes. Mod is like maybe. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> we both smoking face. Okay. <clears throat> it's a very nice uh, flavor. It's like a water bong or something. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. I know it. if you guys like could have to compare it to something, but let me show them. Yes. <laughs> so the coals, yeah, this is the water part. And there's like a, the tobacco stuff goes in here. And then there's like co hot coals on the top burning. Yeah. <laughs> so we have to put the coals on the fire. The flavor, here. The lemon mint mm -hmm. flavor. And then the coals, they burn through about an hour, about an hour, an hour and a half, eh? Yes. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. It's lemon mint, so it's like, remember I used to love menthol. Here you go, honey. Thank you. She come. <laughs> um, they call it hookah. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, yeah. it's shisha or argila, argila? in Arabic. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So hookah would be, why do you call it hookah? Like what would it, that, I don't know where that comes from. It, I think. It's kind of shisha yeah. name, but it's not a specific name. Right. Is it still unhealthy for your lungs? Um, like there's warnings on like, not really, no. Careful this one, the hose. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Left shui. <laughs> Go left shui. Okay, let's see. Shui means move shui. over a little bit. <laughs> shui? A little bit. Is that like getting zooted? So <laughs> I find shisha mild, and especially like depending on the flavors you get, like some are heavier than others. But, um, <laughs> Turkish coffee. <laughs> Sorry. You know, I'm moody. Anyway. Um, yeah, it's like mild. It's like relaxing. I don't know how to explain it. After like a shisha session, you just feel like relaxed, even though it's just like tobacco. I don't know what it is about it, but yeah, it comes in like little containers and there's different flavors, but like it's good to not mix flavors in the same shisha machine. So like you have to change the whole shisha after you want to change flavors, right? Yeah, exactly. Lazen. Lazen must be. <laughs> oh, Lazen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that detailed explanation, Chantal. Next, let's turn to a different source, or this article from the Journal of Oral Biology and Craniofacial Research. Before we get into the effects of shisha smoking on the human body, let's take a look at the hookah mechanism and how it actually works. Flavored tobacco is loaded into a bowl at the top of the apparatus and hot coals are placed on top. As the tobacco smolders, the smoke is pushed down into a water chamber and then it bubbles back up through it, sort of like a filter. The user then sucks the tobacco smoke out of the top of the chamber through a hookah pipe, so the water acts just like the filter at the end of a cigarette. Now, if you're thinking that this sounds just as bad as smoking conventional cigarettes, you're wrong. It's much, much worse. The reason why people say it's the equivalent of smoking 100 cigarettes is because you're constantly pulling in smoke for 60 to 90 minutes. Despite the initial filtration through the water, the smoke still contains particulate matter like nicotine, carbon monoxide, and nitrogen oxide. 
As if that wasn't bad enough, the coals used at the top of the shisha are also emitting their own carbon monoxide. It's these inhaled particulates and dangerous gases that have major effects on the human body, as well as secondhand smoke to household pets. Just because it doesn't smell as bad as cigarette smoke doesn't mean that shisha smoke isn't worse. Most of the diseases you would associate with shisha smoking are the same as those that you would consider with cigarette smoking, like cancer of the esophagus, stomach, bladder, colorectal region, and nasopharyngeal region. With her history of lung issues, Chantal should be particularly worried about the respiratory effects of smoking shisha. It can lead to COPD, bronchitis, nasal congestion, and much worse. It's a well-known fact that nicotine is a vasoconstrictor, which means that it makes your heart work harder and can raise your blood pressure significantly. Last, but certainly not least, Chantal will really need to take care of her teeth because shisha smoking can lead to periodontal disease. So let's go ahead and fast forward a few months and see if Foodie's learned anything about her new habit. Okay, listen. Hi, Andre Marie, Ava. Oh yeah, so smooth. <sighs> yeah. Okay, this, he's smoking mixed berry with mint. Which one? You? This, yeah. And this is mixed fruit with mint. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it tastes like tropical, like fruit punch with like a, an icy aftertone. <laughs> <laughs> but this vape makes me so relaxed compared to this. I want another shisha. It was so good. Oh my gosh. Let me just activate my shisha. You gotta... I always, I always get so lot to do this because he just goes... He has a bigger lung capacity. It's just vapor. Like there's a, it's like a water bomb for tobacco that doesn't have like arsenic and all these things. And it's just pure tobacco with molasses and flavor. But yeah, we just relaxes me a bit. Like it does relax you. And uh, I have... Chantal, the reason why it relaxes you is because you're not getting enough oxygen to your brain. So it's basically one long head rush. Now, if you get anything out of this video at all, just anything at all, it would be to stop. Stop it right now. You know you have an addictive personality, and this is only going to get worse. This is not a headache you need on top of your food issues and everything else going on in Kuwait. These things are hot, and they burn for like an hour and a half. It's like smoking a cigarette for an hour and a half. <laughs> I always say... Oh, you, you know the worm on Alice in Wonderland? A, A, I, O, U.